Breaking news. Apparently satisfied with his performance as the governor of Akwa Ibom State, Nigeria Senate President Ahmed Lawan has urged Udom Emmanuel to come to the Red Chamber at the end of his tenure in 2023, saying Nigeria needs its expertise in statecraft to wriggle out of its current socio-economic travails. Lawan was in Uyo, the state capital, at the weekend to be part of the Thanksgiving and commissioning of some constituency projects undertaken by Senator Abbas Akwan. We are Governor Emmanuel, notable politicians, including hosts of senators, graced the ceremony. Praising Emmanuel's achievements and leadership prowess in the last couple of years as governor, Lama noted that such leadership quality rewards the country's need at this time and this trying moment and also appealed to Emmanuel to bring such experience to bear at the national stage. The Ninth National Assembly has done a lot of work in legislative intervention. Although we don't belong to the same platform, we are waiting for you to come and work with us at the Red Chamber. We want to work with someone desirous of bringing peace, unity and development to the country and your governor is experienced, focused intelligence and development minded he stressed besides lavan commended senator Appan, noting that his contribution to the enactment of laws through quality bills have made the ninth senate one of the best in fostering unity and development of the country and urged is constituents in Akwaibom Northeast to cooperate for more dividends of democracy to thrive. He noted that Senator Appant's intervention has led to some far-reaching reforms in the oil industry as the chairman of the petroleum resources upstream, especially his bill on the production sharing contract PSC, which led to the unbundling of the sector. Commissioning the 1.3 kilometer Ifa Ikot Apan Community Road and the expansive recreational vocational center in Etoy, Ujo local government area. Governor Emmanuel praised the Senator Appan for the gesture and prayed that the facilities were fully utilized for the benefit of the people. However, Albert, who fervently thanked God for mercies and benevolence bestowed on him, said the constituency projects were born out of his desires to lift the people of the constituency out of poverty. He said several beneficiaries have been trained and certified as qualified information and communication technology ICT experts at the ICT incubation center of the multimillionaire complex imbued with sports facilities including football, basketball and lawn tennis. In spite of the huge investment in the water sector by the government and international organizations, water scarcity has grown to become a perennial nightmare for residents of Abeokuta, the August state's capital. This report x the lives and experiences of residents in getting clean, portable and affordable water 
amid the surge of COVID-19 cases in the state. The Lagos Ibadan Railway was inaugurated recently for a full paid operation by the Nigerian Railway Corporation after about a year of free test run. Our reporter joined the train to and fro Lagos from Ibadan and tell us his experience in this report. What is your thoughts to this? We have been hearing different things and now it has come to the Senate in 2023. Lawan, who is the president of the Senate, begs the Aqua Ibom governor. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction? Apparently satisfied with his performance as the governor of Aqua Ibom State, the Senate president Ahmed Lawa has urged the, you know, has urged Udom Emmanuel to come to the Red Chamber at the end of his tenure in 2023, saying Nigeria needs his expertise in statecraft to wiggle out of its current socio-economic travels. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to this brand development? Who would like you to share it with us via the comment section? Do you think there could be something contrary in the mind of Ahmed Lawan for him to have asked Udom Emmanuel to come to this, you know, Red Chambers after his tenure as the Akwai Ibom, you know, governor? Who would like you to let us know your thoughts to this? Well, let's see what people have felt concerning this. Let's see what people has in mind for this present situation. Papa Ejimku reacted and said, Yes, Governor Emmanuel will definitely resume in Senate next year, but not true. The most wicked, corrupt, useless party called APC. What is your thought to this? It has been said that APC has now become a party for the ordinary person. Everybody now defecting to APC probably because it accommodates every kind of person. You know, we've earlier heard that if you've committed different crimes, you've looted votes, EFC are after you just from any other party, defect to APC and everything will be, you know, forgiven, everything will be forgotten. And most Nigerian believes that that is what Henry Fanny Kayode has done. That is why he defected to APC. And like we recently had, he has also been rearrested by the EFCC again. Now, back to what we are saying. Do you think that Governor Emmanuel Udon has the quality Nigerian needs in the Red Chambers? We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. We would like you to share your own reaction with us via the comment section. Don't forget that. Come to the Senate in 2023. That is what Amel Lawa have said as begs the Akwa Ibom governor. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.